It's nothing but a basement. Machinery. Lost stuff. Wrapped. Shit. The hams? <laughs> Just some hissing pipes. The glow? Just a furnace leaking light. How far did the unfolding go? Go on. Tell them what they want to know. She taunted as she led me down, saying, Stephen, stand your ground. Knowing that I had to go wherever she would leap below. She ran, disappearing out of sight behind crates and down narrow flights of stairs. I had lost my shoes. The jagged walls tore at her clothes, leaving pieces of her dress as clues. I turned the corner, there she was, her back against brick, red as blood, her arms spread, her legs crossed as if lounging on a crucifix. Her dress by this time had been torn to shreds. It was like a spider web. Her skin was scratched and tracked and flecked with puncture marks and drops of red. She descended from the cross and walking slowly toward me, said, Stephen, Stephen, time to taste what I taste. Time to taste what I taste. To embrace whatever lays in wait within. To embrace whatever lays in wait. I'm all yours. I'm all yours. At least until it's time to run. Well, go on. What happened then? As she reached to unlatch the links of steel and lead, I shivered as I watched her breasts move beneath her chain dress. The necklace dropped onto the ground and disappeared without a sound. Then, at last, I had her in my arms, but she was neither soft nor warm, more like a rough and rumbling wind swirling inside perfect skin. She freed herself and turned around, her black hair held up in one hand. I pulled the zipper down. It hits. Her dress crumbled into silver sand and fell where her feet should have been. She was gone. It was as if the non-existent dress had always encased emptiness.